it will definitely be that set. Next. Yes. Okay, so I guess we got two more sets in. Yes, indeed. Now let's get onto it. Crit number one in Mid Hudson versus number two in Mid Hudson. Respectfully, these two are gone at it multiple times. Not in this environment before. Not here, no. Not here. This is the first time meeting here at Encore. Especially Crit, at that Crit, uh, Arcadian. Oh, huh? yes. That's the Arcadian, which I busted out at. Sad. But you know, we got the next time. It's okay, anyways. me too. <laughs> Bust the boys around the mic. Yeah, you already know. But anyways, uh, let's go see how Crit tackles this match without. I haven't really, like, we've seen, we've seen off this Joker. Yes, definitely. And I think this might be the first time I've seen Crin play Crowd on stream today. Um, every other true. time we've seen like Sonic as Joker. I mean, I don't know what happened earlier on stream, but uh, I did. I do believe he was playing a little bit of Crom earlier. I'm not sure. Crom if that was on stream. Yes, that was doubles. Doubles. Okay. Doubles. Okay. Doubles. I'm doubles. like, uh, that don't doubles. sound like one of Crin's normal characters. Like, no. Crin, Crin cycles through these four characters. Some of them matchup dependent. Uh, it's Cloud, yeah. Joker, Ike, and Sonic. He Singles I've seen all except for Ike today. Yes. Oh, no. Hey, Ike sometimes comes out. He, come, he pulls it up mainly against our, our local uh, Yoshi who's way at college now, G Danger. <laughs> <laughs> I believe he's in chat. Yes, he is. Yeah, he's always in chat. Shout out, D Danger. Oh, my God. That almost dunked him. Ooh. All right. Well, now we got the Cloud ledge strapping. It's probably one of the scariest positions to be in the game. On the ledge versus Cloud. Look at Damn. that, bro. That was insane. That is, I know this matchup, Edge. Look at that, bro. Now, I did get a couple of details, and I have heard that Kryn usually does go Cloud in this matchup. So yeah, this is something uh, that the Hunter should be a little, at least a little bit familiar with, because these two, two do play a lot. You can see it like kind of being easy right there. Look at that, parry on the F-Smash, and also he's keeping this game very even. You can realize that these two have played together if you look at the identification of habits. Like, I don't know if you've seen, but Kryn slightly faded back on that bear because he knew that Hunter would grab out a shield. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, that was good. I mean, that's also just a very risky move to try and grab Cloud back air out of shield. But that move is just notorious for being like the frame trap button. It's like you try to grab that of shield, like, oh, here's a frame trap. I'm going to F tilt you, you now. Exactly. No back air, no F tilt. Ooh. Then you're dead. One of the two. Also, a lot of good, a lot, very good patience with Crim Singh and Shield. Banjo was one of those characters I like to call the mash, the mash killer. Yeah. So like a few characters fall into that category. Banjo, Crim, uh, Banjo, Diddy Kong, Diddy two Kong. Of the biggest ones. Yeah, definitely. Anti mash characters and Crim doing a very good job of not mashing. I feel Kill like him? Ice Climbers also falls in that category. Yeah. Especially if they catch you with one grab, you're just mashing out of it. You're not worried about that. It's not even just the grab. It's just their neutral tools like exactly. side B. And, oh my god, whoa, Hunter, I've never seen something like that before. Hunter's going crazy. He needs to. He's easily, like, one of the better banjos I've seen. I haven't played against him, but I, I probably get washed. Yeah, I <laughs> played, I lost to Hunter in round one today. <laughs> so, honestly, yeah. if, I had to, if I had to pick someone that I wanted to win this tournament, I feel like uh, Hunter is definitely the protagonist in my heart. Now, you see, I do want Kryn to win this tournament. However, there's one other person I really want to win, and that is... Uh, the local, the local hero, Jay Grunt. Jay Grunt, because yes. he came out of retirement for this. And it's like, yo, exactly. Jay wins? If, if Jay, Jay wins, wins this, this oh. would be insane. Because what? He was incredibly underseeded, I believe. Yeah, what was he? he? I don't, I don't he even know. He was like 12 seed? All I know is that he was. He, he hasn't been playing. Ooh! Ooh. And he just went for it again? Ooh. No, Wait, what? How did he die? Was that the recoil on the uppy spring? No, I think, I think he might have up him. Oh, my God. Because Krim went for the Uppy again, and I, I know for a fact that Uppy would not have killed him there. Yeah, definitely. These are my boys. I don't get to be on the mic for this, but shout out to Mid Hudson. This is one and two on their PR. I love these guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. One and two on the PR. Um, but what a freaking finish. Oh! oh! That makes perfect sense now. So you're always at. Okay, you're always oh, okay. at contenders. <laughs> Alright, perfect. Okay. That's awesome. Yes, it is. I know Richard's using yeah. the, the New England area. Alright, so, boom. What difference are we going to see from Krent? Who is that coaching Krent? That is G Extreme. G Extreme, okay. funny enough, was the winner of the last Arcadian, oh. who, was the, who was being coached by Ling. G, G Extreme won it through losers, funny enough, also. And also, Ling now has a new person he's coaching. He is coaching Jay Grunt, exactly. who is the leader of his crew, Grunt Gang. Exactly. 
Now, and is that Noku on Hunter's side? I yes, believe? it is. Noku had a bunch of people he was coaching, but Hunter is just the one he kind of like, you know, stuck through with it. Yeah. Very good. This for is him a right big now. deal to a lot of people. Yes, it is. I mean, it's like not not just a big deal. It's also just a lot of money. Exactly. Also, just like just like what two hundred fifty dollar prize pot on top of oh that Ooh. I'm sorry I can't talk about prize pot when I see those combos. It's like you you hardly ever see Banjo that know like the Regal Blaster combos like that, and the Hunter has it on lock. I know. Jesus Christ. And Hunter's it's like not even only really good with the Banjo. Have you seen his Sora? I seen his Sora in dubs with Prince. Finally, these guys are dubs partners. Exactly. Yes, this is Ooh. dubs partners. They actually both won. These are the winners of doubles. And they're playing, they're playing against each losers. other. Losers quarters. Good grab. Center right here to the side. And a perfectly space forwarder too. And then there we go. Catch him off second place. Producer winner of this place, Tranko. Yes, winner of this will play Tranko in loser semis. So the loser of this will get fifth place. Now Hunter is the sixth seed. Kren is the one seed. Yes, he is. And Tranko, I believe, is the seventh. Oh, so Tranko already outplayed this again. I knew Tranko yes. was going to get far in this tournament. He he got fifth at the last Arcadian we had. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Madastai is really low as well. Madasti. 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 I don't think Madasti is undeceded. That's, that's He's just normal. popping off. No, no, he's going he's going crazy. He's popping off. It's just off. like if you don't know how to deal with like a Joker that knows how to press buttons, yes. Madasti will, will steamroll you. And, of course... Jake Run might be a little interested, but that's because he just hasn't been here. Yeah. He's retired. He's been playing Falcon on Elite Smash. Exactly. Funny enough, he was playing Greninja on Elite just to warm up for this. Yeah, he was playing Falcon in doubles too, I believe. Right? Double Falcon with Gatsby. That's that's a great team. Anyway, speaking of great right now, the Hunter is coming, uh, is coming in strong. Still. He's got a little bit of a lead going into here. About 100% on Kryn right here. Nice. Chris, big that's combo. already 40. Oh, up to 50 now. No, not able to find the side B. I believe that was a misinput side B from Hunter there. That might have been it, but he still didn't really get pu super oh, punished for that. Damn. And another Wonder Wing will catch you. I'm telling you about that. That's the mash catcher. Yeah. He's really good with these Wonder Wings. He's not using them as much as I would have expected, but he's using them in all the perfect spots. Like they're always hitting. I've never seen a Wonder Wing miss unless it was intentionally for recovery purposes. Yeah, no, he's, like I said, man, he's one of these better banjos. Doesn't just throw these things out in neutral. Keeps it on point. Something that's also on point right now is his recoveries. You don't really see him getting, like, blown up for recovering, like, bad. He doesn't get not recovering bad. Oh, lines the back here. Not really able to get much out of that. Another rising bear from him. Getting a lot of extra credit here. These Great. grenades are really paying off. He's got almost 50% off of grenades. And another grenade he just jumped straight into. Kren is eating these grenades for breakfast, lunch, and dare I say dinner. I have enough. Catch, getting a stock up with only 84% on him. Not too bad. That is true. This is still doable. This is Cloud. Like before, he hit a uh, forward air into side uh -oh. B, and that was 50. So. Nice. He could also find a nair conversion. Oh, Ooh. Christ. That was, that that was, was very scary. But Kren is still finding his footing still in his matchup, so. Not out of this be very careful. Yet. Delayed. Hunter uh, does still have a lot of Wonder Wings, though. Yes, he does. So and that's what I was going to go willy nilly. This is what I was going to say. Like, Crane has to be very careful about. Like, just overextending a neutral and then getting slapped up by a Wonder Wing. Ooh. The I grenade like saved him, man. I like that idea from, from, uh, from the Hunter. Not from Hunter, from Crane. I save him his jump. Ooh. And imagine to get by it on the ledge safely. His uppers, Kryn has to be, Kryn has to be very careful right now. I'm a, I, I feel the Wonder Wing coming. Yeah, oh, there it is. There it is. And uh, Kryn with the perfect punish. punish, up smash on that. Hunter almost had that one right there. It's always oh. like, for the zone, it's Wonder always like the thing, like when they break their patience, that's when they lose. Exactly. And Hunter was just like straight away from the game plan for a little bit, said maybe he overextends here, bada bing, boom, and died. And he's dead. Unfortunate. Crane has done a really good job being patient, and he has gotten hit by these projectiles, but he hasn't really been hit with that many combos. It's been more projectiles that are hitting him, so. Yeah, man. He's done a pretty good job. Able to bring that back, too. Very close, very close. I'm very curious now. Are we going to stay on PS2 for a game number four, for a game number three? Or are we going to find a different stage for this, for this, um, for this match here? 
Who knows? I certainly don't. <laughs> Honestly, I think they might go to small battlefield. My God, I hope not. That is such a banjo stage. Oh, wait. Eh, that's true. Ready? Okay. Ew. Thomas. Wait, what song? What song? I'm judging. I'm judging. Battle for Steven. Aye, aye, aye. aye. Okay. This, is, this, is, a good, this is a good song. Fair. And if they picked Lumio City, I would have screamed. <laughs> because like, it's not a bad song, but it's just so many better tracks. I know. He is sticking to the banjo. He was ho hovering over me brawler for a second. I think that was just I a think placement that was just sitting Sora, there. Right? Uh, yeah, I probably yeah. Sora. But honestly, Sora vs. Cloud is not super. It's not like it's not a bad matchup for Sora, but it's not exactly winning. It's like it's like a very like volatile matchup for like Sora. It can go either way. Yeah. But I wouldn't want to do that versus uh, if you're not super confident in this combo, I would not want to pull out Sora against Cloud. Definitely. I, I'm also, getting these. I don't think the banjo is a winning matchup against Cloud either. Oh, absolutely not. It's just the hunter is just OD. He's just that nice. He's like. I wouldn't say he's ma he's one of those characters that's like, you will get matchup check and you have to learn the matchup on the fly. Because yeah. how often you're gonna run into a banjo? Never. Like, you have to like figure out how to deal with like the Regal Blaster, dealing with the grenades when they're very extremely short timer. The shorter timer than Young Link's bombs. It's insane. Grenades blow up. I think like actually no, I might grenades be lying. Grenades are four seconds or four? six? Either oh. four or six. They're I not six. six. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you they're not six because Toon Link's bombs were six. Ready? We'll count next time. One. Two, three, three seconds. So they're a second slower. They're a second faster than Young Link's bombs. Because Young Link's bombs are, are oh, 2.5. 2.5? 2. 2. Chat says 2.5. Oh, shout out you. Thank you. W fair play. <laughs> Getting off the ledge is going to be bits up. But Hunter making a pass. And Krin is still holding on to this limit. Barely dinking the stage there. If you saw, he was trying to get through with the Wonder Wing, but the Wonder Wing was just barely misspaced, and he hit the bottom of the ledge. Honestly, I'm very happy he didn't like he did not get Ooh, nice onto parry. the stage with the Wonder Wing because that would have been his stock. Print definitely would have been on point with that punish. Ooh, okay. good job back here. Hunter's doing a really good job stalling out the invincibility. Like all the time when Krin has invincibility right after dying, he's not able to get anything at all except for a jungle situation. Which Banjo's easily getting out of, especially Absolutely. with those dudes. Stuffing him straight out of the one way? It's not a thing you see a lot. I do like the large grenade usage. He is using a lot of them. Yes. I think he might have gotten more uh, damage with grenade than with any other like physical hit in the entire uh, entirety of the set so far. Definitely been his MVP. <laughs> that and Krin has been running through so many of them grenades. Exactly. Like the hunter just been catching his jumps every single time, man. They've been eating it. There I say breakfast. Right now he's eating all these blade hits right now, unable to land. The sky is great. What's her name? Cause we can't keep you in the sky that long. It does give you the extra jump though. He is going to have to burn one Wonder Wing there. He still has three left, and he's Ooh. at 100%. Burning another one. Oh. Might that have was... to add Hunter to Krin's name, because he's on the prowl. Krin is looking Krin was very, very safe and very relaxed. He seems very composed. He's, like you said earlier, man, they play this matchup a lot. Definitely. But Krin is definitely used to like the weight of Hunter plays. Same thing on the Hunter side, and immediately letting it rip. Hunter was oh, not rolled. He was ready for that, though. Indeed, and he picked the strongest option in his arsenal. That Wonder Wing. God, I've had so many stocks snatched from me from that Wonder Wing, man. I know, the thing that sucks about it, lingers. Yes! So long. Bro, lingering hitboxes that keep the same strength in this game are a plague. Exactly. I'm looking at you, Pete, side B. I know. Ooh. Has to burn another Wonder Wing there. Crane able to get another punish, pushing him back off stage. It's like a lot of these early Wonder Wings we're seeing are just like the hundreds are just thinking, it's like, hey, he's gonna be aggressive right here. And Crane is just not, nah, he just stands there in place, holding that blade, and said, What you thought I was gonna swing? Come on now. Put some respect on my name, son. One thing that Crane is doing that has really helped with his adaptation is he's very patient. Yes. He's been very patient, waiting for these mistakes and these overextensions from Hunter. And he's just been punishing them all accordingly. It's like Banjo's one of those characters where it's like, I said earlier, not only the matchup check, but you have to be. Oh my god, that parry was sick. This has got to be ready, man. You have to be like untiltable. You get tilted versus Banjo, 
done for. Ooh, counter up. Anyways, takes that with a well placed back air, trying to catch it and jump it back to stage. My boy looking good. My boy looking good. That's a nice 2 1 lead for Kren over Hunter. One match away from getting his run back against Franco. Yeah, but you cannot count the Hunter out. You oh, I cannot not. count him out. Especially he, with the Noku coaching over there, too. By the way, it's Noku's birthday. Shout out, Noku. Shout out to Noku. Happy birthday, Nick. Three, Happy birthday. Two, oh, so wait, that means go. his birthday's close to my birthday. That's yes, dope. it is. What is your, oh, your birthday's Monday, right? Yeah. We're oh, right. I can't show up to local on Monday. I'm kind of upset, but it's oh, okay. That, listen, that is fine. It's, it's a training bracket Monday anyways. Yeah, that's true. Anyways, we're keeping it right back here on that Kalos stage. And catching the jump out of the disadvantage there. I remember back throw cross, cross throws used to be a thing in Smash 4. Now it only works if you jump. Exactly. I'm getting a bit too antsy with these combos. All right, but back into the pace of neutral, but Kryn does not give a damn. Kryn is just throwing as much as he can. He's trying to run over Hunter here. You see those cross slashes? They're insane. It's, it's such a. I it's feel a, I feel a limit cross slash him. coming. Yes, oh, there, there it is. is! Like clockwork. <laughs> it's like cross slash is. There I say a broken move. Because it, is it broken. can do one, two. Look at that. Or and it's like it's not well, it is it is a it is a punishable move also if like you know Cloud whips it. Yeah. But just the percent he gets off of it. And he can combo into it from like fair and bear exactly. at low percents. And nair. Yes! No one counts that. I don't know if we've seen it. Oh. Okay. Nice jab ext extension from the hunter. Definitely. I don't know if we've seen it from Kryn, but what I've seen other clouds do, uh specifically Goldsmith. He actually has hit a couple of people in bracket with uh, falling Nair into limit cross slash, and they die at like 60. Crazy. That's scary. What the hell? Yeah. I don't know if we'll see it from Kryn here, because Kryn has a lot of better confirms into it, but falling Nair does work, so that is something you do have to look out for. You have to look out for all of his falling aerials. Falling Nair, fair, back air. Falling up air into uh, finishing touch as well. Yes, indeed. We're not going to be seeing a finishing touch right now. Instead, Banjo's getting chin checked by, not Banjo, but Cloud is getting chin checked by Banjo's foot. That was good by uh, the Hunter. I do like the Hunter's combos. He's got a lot of task Banjo combos. I don't know how his hands do that. I can't do that. Bro, my man's shaking his hands off after every set, after every match. Just like shaking it. That takes. That I takes tried, skill. I tried labbing that out with Banjo. I was able to do it like one time, and I said never again. I, I don't need that. I break my hands enough trying to do like IDJ Sora stuff. Exactly. That there is that there is hard. I cannot do that. But I'll I'll stick I'll stick with uh, the Diddy Pop Gun cancels. That's <laughs> enough for me. Listen, I'll just do two mix stuff. Ask me. <laughs> Joker drag downs too are fine. Oh, those are very fun. I like those. When I first learned fair one to drag down up air, that was cool. Yes. What? Oh, oh my god! Hold up. The hunter, hunter is, is bringing alive. this one back. We're talking about Crin smelling blood. The hunter's the one who smells blood in the water. This is anyone's game right here. Yes, it is. I'm oh, feeling fine. a down throw right here. Down throw kill. Oh, definitely, definitely is looking for that or like some kind of confirmance, maybe like a back air or catch him slipping with a fair. It's true. It's looking very well for this, but no jump on it. Never mind, Banjo has three jumps. That is true. I keep forgetting that. Kazooie is the MVP there. Oh, he's kind of trapped here. What's he going to do? Super Fall deep. The, oh, ah, but I what? like the wall jump, but Hunter still had it scouted. Yes, indeed. And Kren is now on the prowl. Going super deep. Nice stuff catching one of the jumps away. Can we get a second? No, we can't. This is not over yet. Hunter was just one stock away from reverse three stocking in winter semis, so it is still anyone's game. Ooh, back the back air, air is looking really close. That How's the Hunter going to get back on the stage? Perfectly time roll. Nice nair. Oh. That was a really good spot dodge. That is a matchup spot dodge. That is like, I know this, I know this. Like I said, identifying habits. Oh, Jesus. I felt that fair. Ooh. And I also feel the pain in the hunter's heart getting back aired right there, man. Unfortunate. Kryn takes it, 3-1. So is it happening now? Yes, it is.